Can a Christian lose salvation? First, the term Christian must be defined. A Christian is not a person who has said a prayer or walked down an aisle or been raised in a Christian family. While each of these things can be part of the Christian experience, they are not what makes a Christian. A Christian is a person who has fully trusted in Jesus Christ as their only Savior and therefore possesses the Holy Spirit. John 3.16, Acts 16.31, and Ephesians 2, 8-9. Perhaps the best way to answer the question of losing salvation is to examine what the Bible says occurs at salvation and study what losing salvation would entail. A Christian is a new creation. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone and the new has come. 2 Corinthians 5.17 A Christian is not simply an improved version of a person. Mm -hmm. A Christian is an entirely new creature. He is in Christ. For a Christian to lose salvation, the new creation would have to be destroyed. A Christian is redeemed. 1 Peter 1, 18-19 declares we were bought or redeemed with the blood of Christ, not perishable things like silver or gold. The word redeemed refers to a purchase being made or a price being paid. We were purchased at the cost of Christ's death. For a Christian to lose salvation, God himself would have to revoke his purchase of the individual for whom he paid with the precious blood of Christ. A Christian is justified. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 5.1 To justify is to declare righteous. All those who receive Jesus as Savior are declared righteous by God. For a Christian to lose salvation, God would have to go back on his word and undeclare the person righteous. Those absolved of guilt would have to be tried again and found guilty. A Christian is promised eternal life. John 3.16 says, Whoever believes in Christ will have eternal life. Eternal life is the promise of spending forever in heaven with God. God promises, believe and you will have eternal life. For a Christian to lose salvation, eternal life would have to be redefined. A Christian is marked by God and sealed by the Holy Spirit. Ephesians 1, 13-14 says that at the moment of faith, the new Christian is marked and sealed with the Spirit, who has promised to act as a deposit to guarantee the heavenly inheritance. The end result is that God's glory is praised. For a Christian to lose salvation, God would have to erase the mark, withdraw the spirit, cancel the deposit, break his promise, revoke the guarantee, keep the inheritance, forego the praise, and lessen his glory. A Christian is guaranteed glorification. According to Romans 5.1, justification is ours at the moment of faith. According to Romans 8.30, glorification comes with justification. All those whom God justifies are promised to be glorified. This promise will be fulfilled when Christians receive their perfect resurrection bodies in heaven. If a Christian can lose salvation, then Romans 8.30 is an error, because God cannot guarantee the glorification for all those whom he predestines, calls, and justifies. A Christian cannot lose salvation. Most, if not all, of what the Bible says happens to us when we receive Christ would be invalidated if salvation could be lost. Salvation is the gift of God, and God's gifts are irrevocable. Romans 11.29 Common objections to this belief usually raise the question, what about Christians who live in a sinful, unrepentant lifestyle, or have turned away from the faith? This, however, assumes that everyone who calls himself a Christian has actually been born again. The Bible declares that a true Christian will not live in a state of continual unrepentant sin. 1 John 3.6 the Bible also says that anyone who departs the faith is demonstrating that he was never truly a Christian. 1 John 2.19 Also, Matthew 7.16 says we will know Christians by their fruit. Nothing can separate a child of God from the Father's love. Romans 8.38-39 Nothing can remove a Christian from God's hand. John 10.28-29 God guarantees eternal life and maintains the salvation he has given us. The Good Shepherd searches for the lost sheep. And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. Luke 15, 5-6 The lamb is found, and the shepherd gladly bears the burden. Our Lord takes full responsibility for bringing the lost one safely home.